Hey guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a purchase order for a simple product you may buy from your vendor or supplier. You're going to start off by going to Purchase, Purchase Orders. Next, you'll click New. You'll input the vendor you're buying the product from. In this case, we're going to use Best Buy as the example. You'll select the warehouse you're going to be shipping into. PO terms are defaulted from the system admin settings. So we're going to select uh, Net30, which is the default settings. Rep is the user that's currently logged in purchasing the product. A reference number is a reference that you could potentially use if you're using a third-party accounting system. So if you generate a purchase order from a third-party accounting system, you can input that reference number here. Date is the date the order is created. Provider, this is related to your shipping. So if you're going to ship in FedEx, UPS, freight, you have various selections to have better tracking on the order. In this case, we're going to ship it uh, FedEx ground. Now, warranty is important as when you're bringing this product in, this is going to track the warranty back to the vendor. So if you chose 60-day warranty, this gives you the tracking and flexibility of buying that product, selling it downstream to one of your customers, and for, per chance there was an RMA, as you're receiving the product in, you'd be able to track what the warranty period was back to the originating vendor. So in case if you have to receive or ship the product back to the vendor as an RMA replacement, you would have that option. Date issued. You could fill these in. These aren't required. Typically, you would want a ship by to provide to your vendor, and that would uh, present that on the purchase order. We also have a few options from order type. You could choose equipment purchase, consignment, drop ship, or inbound repair. Equipment purchase is your buying product bringing it into your facility. Consignment you are placing a consignment contract on that product so you'll be able to bring the product in as a purchase order but it would only pay out according to the contract terms once the item is sold within your system so it gives you a lot of flexibility from a consignment tracking standpoint you also have the option to drop ship just indicating the material is going to pass through your not pass through your warehouse and ship directly to your customer from your originating vendor and you now have tracking number so once a product ships from your vendor typically you will collect that tracking number and input it into this field you also have options for order notes and internal notes order notes will display on the purchase order screen so we're going to start out by doing an equipment purchase and we're going to type in a 1908 FPT so we're going to simulate we're buying a few Dell LCD monitors. We're going to buy them used, and the quantity is five. And we're going to pay $50 a unit. And you'd click Add. So this added that particular line item to your PO. Once complete, you would save and approve. Now this process opens up the purchase order screen and shows you the product that's being received. There are two conventional ways that you could receive product in. The first step, you would confirm the order, indicating that the purchase order has been accepted and approved by the vendor, indicating they're going to ship it. Um, then you would be able to print, and you could see your purchase order summary view. So. Once we get started, you could receive two ways. You could start receiving directly in by selecting Receive, generating a UID, generating a serial number, assigning a particular location in your facility, and hitting Save. All these additional attributes are system defined, typically by your admin would set up what attributes should be collected at the receiving time. So you can see here, we received in the first product, 
It was received in on 1222 with the timestamp. And one's, one out of five have been received. The other option of receiving is taking your purchase order number and going to the receive screen. This is a good way to have your employees in the warehouse receive against a purchase order. So it restricts them and, and doesn't allow them to go into the actual purchase order screen, but lets them receive the purchase order in the receiving side, eliminating any risk of deleting the purchase order, seeing pricing, and so on. So in this screen, in order to receive the PO, you would go to the PO field at the top right, and we're going to paste in the purchase order number. Once selected, it's going to filter the grid below of what was received against that particular PO. You have the option to click the magnifying glass, which would show you what was received and what's on that particular order. So you can see four were requested and four are still open, and one has been received. If you double click, it'll fill the item in the background, so you don't have to retype in the uh, model number. So once it's done, you could see um, some of the items are pre-populated with data. That's in case um, your system has been pre-populated with attribute data, which is very good to have. Um, once you accept this item, just hit Create and Clear, and it's going to receive the product in, and it's going to print a label. Your other option is to manually type in the model as you're receiving. You could also leave notes indicating uh, potential issues. Maybe uh, it was the item was dirty or whatever relevant information you'd like to collect. Once done, hit Create and Clear. You also have the option if all the items are identical, you could have selected an item in the grid below and hit Bulk Insert. So in this case, we have two remaining items. I'm not going to auto-generate the serial, I'm going to hit Generate. So what this does is allow you to receive in two additional items, scan the serial number, and hit Save, and that's going to receive the items in a bulk process. Once this is done, it will open up a modal for a print queue, and this will allow you to print multiple labels at the same time. Now you can see below, all the items have been received against uh, PO10394. We could jump back to the uh, purchase order either by clicking this URL. And you can see you received in five items at $50, $250 total. And you also have the option of going to the purchase order list view, selecting Best Buy, and getting to the purchase order uh, going through that particular method. So that's how you receive a purchase order. And one other key thing to do while you're in the warehouse is after the purchase order has been fully received, you have the option of going back to the magnifying glass and marking the item ready to close. Now what this does is notifies the rep and the accounting department that this purchase order has been completed. So that's how you receive a PO using the various functions in Razor ERP.